This is Chapter 2, Elementary Programming, Programming Exercise 5, Financial Application, Calculate Tips. So for this exercise, we're going to write a program that reads the subtotal and the gratuity rate, then computes the gratuity and total. For example, if the user entered 10 for a subtotal of 15% for gratuity rate, the program display $1.50 as gratuity and $11.50 as total. So what we're going to see is that the user or the console is going to display this string right here, enter the subtotal and a gratuity rate. Then the user will enter 10 space 15. And then the program is going to calculate, it's going to do the calculation in the background and then display that the gratuity is $1.50 and total is 1150 So for the steps that we're going to do is we're going to display the message, right? We're going to display the message, enter the subtotal and a gratuity rate. Um, and then step two, input the value 10 and 15. So the user is going to enter 10 and space 15. And we're going to store those two numbers into a variable subtotal for 10 and gratuity rate for 15. So the subtotal uh, for the bill will be $10 and the gratuity rate is going to be 15%. Next, we're going to calculate the gratuity which will be 15% of 10 and the total, which will be the gratuity plus the subtotal. And then we're going to display the results. So let's start with uh, displaying the message, enter the subtotal and a gratuity weight. So let's go to our exercise right here. And uh, displaying the message that is pretty simple, right? We're going to use system dot out dot print. I'm going to do print line and the message. We're going to put the message in between those double quote. Enter the subtotal and a gratuity rate. Now, if I were to ask the user to enter both at a time, that might confuse the user. Uh, so I'm going to actually ask the user one at a time. I'm going to ask the user to enter the subtotal first, then the gratuity rate. So it'll be enter the subtotal, colon a little bit space. Then I'm going to ask the user to uh, enter the, uh, the gratuity. All right, now if I were just to do something like this, they'll all be written in one single line. So I don't really want that. I want that, I want this to be written in one line, right? And then after user enter something, enter the subtotal, then I want uh, this to be entered in another line. So what I could do is to create a new line right here. So you could do a slash n and then Run that again. Now we'll see enter subtotal and enter the gratuity rate. All right, now the user could enter subtotal right here. After that, uh, the console should prompt the user to enter the gratuity rate. So that is actually our second step, uh, which is to input the value 10 and 15 and store it into the variables subtotal and gratuity rate. Now we haven't created these variables yet, so we're gonna create, create them right now. Now, what kind of data type should these variables be? Uh, if you decide that you just want to put integers a whole number, then you could use an int. But what if you what if the subtotal is not a not simply just a whole number, but also a uh, floating point number um, or has decimal fractions in there? So to prepare for that, it's better off to create uh, these two variables as uh, floating point numbers or double data types. So simply double, uh, we'll first variable will be called subtotal and another variable will be called gratuity rate. All right, so now that we have these variables, how do we, uh, how do we enter uh, variables onto the console and then be able to retrieve it and store it into these variable. 
Well, we're going to uh, want to be able to scan the console right here uh, and then read the variables, read the input and then store it into our variables. So to do that, we're, we have to create a variable of scanner type. So right here, I create a variable called input of type scanner. And it's going to be able to read from system input. But to store into these variables, we're going to have to do something like this right here. We're going to say subtotal, right? Because we're going to calculate, uh, we're going to retrieve the subtotal first equals the input dot next double. Now what this does right here is that this input, which is of scanner type, scans the console and looks for a value that is a double. And then it takes that and it sets that value to this variable called subtotal. So that subtotal will now equal to the input that the user entered for subtotal. And we also want to do that for the variable gratuity rate. So we're going to do it the exact same thing. Um, gratuity rate equals input dot next double. All right. So previously, input dot next double had a value for subtotal. But now we want it to read another value for uh, that's going to, uh, that the user is going to enter as the gratuity rate, and it's going to store it in here. All right, so let's see all of that in action. All right, so right now the first thing that happens is that the console, the your program, Java right here runs your program and creates two variables called subtotal and gratuity rate of type double. But it doesn't do anything with it yet, not yet. Next, uh, the program creates another variable that creates a new object uh, that reads the system input. All right. Finally, it moves on through this line right here. It says, enter the subtotal. And that's exactly what we see right here. All right, enter the subtotal. Before I finish that, let's see financial application. Tips. Uh, let's see. Today is eighteen dash twelve dash ten. Oh wait, is it? Yeah, it's ten. All right. Now it's not. As you can see, it doesn't display this message right here. All right. What's going on is that the console knows that you are expecting an input, or is expecting input from you. And then it's going to read that input and store it into this variable called subtotal. So right now it's not going to run anything until you give it a uh, a value. Uh, of course, expecting a double value, but of course you could also put an integer value. All right. So now we're going to put an integer value ten. We're going to click enter, and then that value is stored into uh, the variable subtotal. Of course, as you can see, there's a new line right here, and that's caused by this right here. So since I don't really need a whole new line right there, I could just remove it. All right. And then after I display this message right here, enter the gratuity rate. That's what we get. Uh, that what that's what we see over here. This string, this message. And once again, the console stops. It stops everything. It doesn't end the program yet. That's because it's still expecting another. Um, uh, input and this input will be again a double value that's going to store into this variable called gratuity rate All right, so we'll enter 15 click enter and that value is stored into the variable gratuity rate after all that's done There's no more code after this line and The program finish it'll say hey, I am done finish with exit code zero no issue no errors and that's it So that's where we got so far all right. Now, step three, calculate for the gratuity and total. So before we uh, we got the variables for the subtotal, 
uh, not the total yet because you still have to add the gratuity to the subtotal to get the total. To calculate for the gratuity, we already got the two variables right here to calculate for that. So actually, let's get a visual on how that works. Step three, calculate the gratuity and total. So step one in step three, convert the gratuity rate into a percentage. So how do we do that? So let's say that the input, right, before what we did was is 15. We have to change this 15, this integer, to a percentage, 15% or 0 0.15. Now we could do that by dividing um, 15 by 100 to get 0 0.15. All right. So why don't we do that? Now, let's see. Luckily, of course, I prepared beforehand. I didn't create this as an integer. If I create this as an integer, if I were to divide 15 by 100, I wouldn't get 0 0.15, right? I would get, I believe, uh, 0. All right, so perfect. Since they're a double, I don't really have to fix anything. Instead, why don't I divide this right here by 100? By dividing the input that I read, 15 by 100, uh, and then storing it into gratuity rate, I will get 15%. So why don't we confirm that before we do anything? System dot out dot print line gratuity gratuity rate is gratuity rate. Run that again. Enter 10 for the subtotal. 15 for the gratuity rate, and voila, we got gratuity rate is now 0.15 or 15%. All right, so we don't need this. We just want to do a confirmation, make sure that was correct. Okay, so let's see. Now that we got our 15%, we could now calculate the gratuity. So to calculate the gratuity, we simply multiply the subtotal, which is 10 in this case, by the gratuity rate, which is 15%. And then we store that into a another variable called gratuity. That way we could calculate the total, which will be gratuity plus subtotal. So there's two new variables that we're gonna create right here. Gratuity and total. Simply could go up here and say gratuity comma total. All right, this comma right here tells the program that's it, uh, telling it, hey, I would like to create another variable of uh, double data type. And then you put a comma and then you give it a name. Gratuity total. Okay, so let's calculate for the gratuity. Gratuity equals um, subtotal times gratuity rate total equals now to uh, gratuity plus sub total all right and now finally for the last step and that is to display the results uh, which will be something like this the gratuity is dollar 50 and total is 1150 if we input 10 and 15 as the subtotal and gratuity rate. Okay, so we'll say the uh, gratuity is, I'm gonna put a dollar sign right here, no space, plus a concat sign to concat to uh, concat the, uh, the double value right here, which will be gratuity concat with another and the total is no dollar sign no space plus uh total concat with total plus a little period to end it all okay and then let's run that so its subtotal will be 10 bucks 
gratuity rate will be 15%. And then now we get the gratuity is $1.50 and the subtotal and the total is $11.50. All right. So that'll be it for this programming exercise. Uh, financial application, calculate tips.